Hello again. Today I'm not at a forest, I'm at a lake nearby. It's about a 20 minute drive. So look in the weather forecast yesterday. It said it would be raining through the night. Uh, sometime in the morning it would stop and well, it didn't really stop now. Uh, when I got going um, it did not rain uh, and on the way there on the way here, I saw the most beautiful scenery with fog everywhere, it looked really cool. And I was already tempted to stop, but I uh, thought, well, if I stop now, I'll just lose uh, way more light. Um, it's already 6.55, I think the sun has risen at 6.40 or 50. Um, yeah, but it's not that bright because it's uh, well, overcast since it's raining. Uh, the rain has decreased slightly though. Um, about 10 minutes into the drive, it was raining heavily. A bit better now. So I think I'll get going and see what the lake looks like. Okay, I'm out on the lake now. Um, the weather's not great. It's raining again and there's uh, no fog whatsoever. Um, yeah not great conditions uh, and I think I said last video uh, I'd really like some flat light because I was in the forest but uh, taking pictures on the lake it's not that great if you have no light whatsoever and I was hoping to have some nicely colored clouds because of the sunrise and yeah there's nothing here um, Unfortunately also my mic is not uh, waterproof, so I think I'll stop shooting video for now if the rain doesn't stop of course and I'll just concentrate on some pictures try to make the best of a bad situation and uh, yeah, if it really doesn't get better anymore I'll probably come back tomorrow or some other time. Bye. Okay, let's have a little break from all the rain. Um, I will just show you real quick on my computer what I was trying to capture while I was not filming because it was raining too much and my microphone wasn't waterproof or isn't waterproof and I didn't want to risk my microphone nor my camera. So I tried myself at some long exposures and also some wildlife photography. Um, in parts I succeeded I guess, only with a long exposure. Um, so this shot right here, um, it's a little island on the lake itself. Uh, I think it looks quite cool, all the variety of the different trees on here. Um, yeah, really like that. You can see in the water um, that the water was not still, was moving the entire time. Obviously rain falling down on it. Um, yeah, there's a 40 second exposure, ISO 160. Um, I think what I could have done better is to move to the side a little bit because you don't really see the separation You can see right here. This is the other side of the lake and there is not um, That much space in between this island and the other side is probably so like 30 meters But since I'm far away from the uh, from the little island You can't really see the separation so I should maybe should have moved to the side so you can see it from the side um, Yeah That's for next time um, anyway, wildlife. <laughs> I captured this picture of a goose. Um, nothing special, but I really like that you can see the droplets on the back of the goose here. Um, other than that, I shot this swan. Um, I don't know, there's not really much detail in the swan itself, so that's not the best picture. And also all these things sticking out of the water right here. It all looks quite messy. Um, picture that I kind of like this little duck right here. Oh, already cropped in. Um, you can see I cropped in quite a lot. All these things sticking out of the water as well look quite messy. I was using the rule of thirds right here um, to improve the image a little bit. Um, 
it's very very um standard uh a little boring image i'd say because there's only the the little duck here there's nothing else on the picture but um there's some detail in the duck and i kind of like that and the last one was these three geese right here problem being iso two, uh, 2500 um, I punched in to 300, so that's the furthest I can go with my lens. And um, yeah, the rain was in the way as well, so you can see back here, there's it's very, uh, very noisy. And also when you're on the geese themselves, it's not much detail in there. Um, but I like the subject, these three geese swimming right behind each other. Anyway, on with the video. Okay, um, I'll just keep on filming on my on my phone now because I don't want the hassle of uh, uh, changing lenses um, because it's still raining and uh, yeah, don't want uh, water on my sensor. Um, anyway, I actually found quite a cool composition. Um, you can see it. It is right there. Um, the light actually looks quite cool now. It took some time, it was raining for probably half an hour, an hour now. Um, and it's decreasing a little bit now. And um, the colors on the, well, the color of the leaves on the trees, they're already changing a bit. It looks quite cool. I'll show you. Well, I'm still out here. Um, the light is actually quite cool right now. I uh, stopped raining, or it's very light rain rather. Um, and I found another cool composition. It is this orange tree right there. Um, it looks quite cool with the green in the background uh, as a contrast. And um, yeah, I'm shooting on my telephoto 7200. Um, it's also why I'm filming my phone uh, from on my phone because I'm a bit anxious to change lenses and get water on my sensor. So I'm shooting everything with my 7200 right now. Um, anyway, the problem is there is a yellow pole. I don't know if you can see it. It is right there, and the shot really depends on whether I can edit that out or not. Um, if I can, I think the shot looks quite cool. Uh, if I can't, well, it's not really a shot, is it? Okay, uh, quick interruption. I'm at home right now. I'm looking at the pictures. And I told you that if I could edit the yellow pole out, that the shot would work. And I think it does work. And I was able to edit the pole out. Uh, but the problem, uh, well, there's another problem. I'll show it to you here in Lightroom. So, um, problem being that there was rain obviously, and I think the subject was just too far away. So I couldn't couldn't capture any detail. So I already cropped in a little bit, but only square crop. Um, but the problem is I couldn't capture any detail. I think it was too far away and the, the rain was somewhat blocking my camera side. So what I tried to do at least is I put in a right here, a linear gradient filter I just do that, zoom out, linear gradient filter. So um, what I did here is I tried to increase the dehaze. So it looks like I get some kind of detail. It doesn't look washed out anymore. Um, and I only did it in the, with a filter because I didn't want it on the water. Because if I move it down here, you see in the water, the colors could look kind of weird so I moved it up here a little bit um, yeah so increase that to like 40 and it looks better from far away but if you punch in a little bit you see there is still no detail so unfortunately I really like the shot maybe I'll come back another time um, while this tree is still orange and the other ones aren't and uh, try to retake that shot but yeah unfortunately 
it didn't work even uh, even though I was able to edit the yellow pole out. Anyway. Okay, so I think you can see over there the dark clouds they are rolling in again. So I think I'll wrap this up for the day. I don't really know what to think about it. Uh, I've been here I think three hours now and two and a half of those have been with heavy rain so I had to hide under trees and were not able to scout for pictures, take pictures uh, or shoot video, video as well. Um, but I have two, I think, cool pictures. One, well, and another one if I can actually edit out that um, yellow pole. Um, yeah, I'll see. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow morning, but I think the same weather is predicted. So, um, yeah, I have to check the forecast tonight. Um, yeah, if you like seeing my misery in this video, you can like the video and... Uh, if you want to see more of it or more of me taking pictures in general, you can subscribe. There'll be plenty of videos to come, probably and hopefully with better conditions. I'm back in the car now and on my way to the car I was thinking there actually may be a lesson to be learned from this today. The lesson being that whatever the conditions uh, and really whatever the location, you can always find something, um, you should just go out because going out means you practice your photography skills and even though it's not the best location and not the best uh, conditions for example i was hoping for mist there was no mist there was heavy rain for two and a half hours in the last half an hour it was light rain and the light in general was also not the best but i stuck through it anyway and i think i actually have two quite cool pictures um one and well, maybe another one if i can edit out the yellow pole in the water um, yeah, and it's just important to actually go out and practice your photography skills and not just stay home because it's not the perfect condition or not the best uh, conditions. Um, so yeah, I think that's the lesson to be learned from today and I will keep doing it and I will keep going out, taking pictures and learning and maybe at some point I'll nail it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's actually it for me for today now, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.